Shaunakohavai Mahashalongirasang Vidivadu Pasana Papritcha Kasminu Bhagavo Vignate Sarvam Idang Vignatang Bhavatiti Shaunaka, well known as a great householder, having approached Angiras duly, asked, O adorable sir, what is that which, having been known, all this becomes known? Shonakaha, the son of Shunaka, Mahashalaha, a great householder, Upasanaha, son, having approached him, Vidivat, duly, that is to say, in accordance with the scriptures. The teacher, Angirasam, Angiras, disciple of Bharadvaj, Papracha, asked, From the use of the adverb duly from the time of contact between Shonaka and Angiras, it is understood that for their predecessors there was no established rule about the method of approach. The adverb is used by way of delimitation, or it is used on the analogy of a lamp placed in a house. For the rule regarding the manner of approach is intended for us as well. What did he ask? That is being stated. Bhagavaha kasmin nu vignate. O adorable sir, what is that which, having been known indeed, sarvamidam, all that there is that is to be known, bhavati, becomes vignatam, well known? The particle nu is used to express reflection. Shonaka had heard the traditional utterance of the good people that there is something by knowing which one becomes omniscient. Being desirous of knowing that thing specifically, he asks thoughtfully, which indeed? Or, by following the common sense view, he puts this question knowingly. There are in the world varieties of pieces of gold, etc., which are known by ordinary people from the recognized fact of the substantial oneness of gold, etc. Similarly, does there exist a single substance that is the cause of the whole universe of diversity, by knowing which all things become known? Objection. The question with the word which is improper with regard to an unknown thing. In that case, the reasonable form of the question is, does such a thing exist? Which can occur only when the existence is already established, as in, into which is it to be deposited? Answer, no, for the question, which is that thing which, having been known, one becomes all-knowing, is admissible from the standpoint of avoiding trouble arising from verbosity.